And we got the, we got, oops. All right, you have the honor of having the last question of the day. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. I, I like to probably speak for everyone in the room to say thank you for imparting all your wisdom of everyone here this evening. Well, what about uh, me? Well, I said both of you. Well, no, you were talking wisdom. I know no, you were no, no. on that one. Just because I'm older doesn't mean I'm wiser. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. No, I, I apologize if this question has been asked before. It's okay. But um, at what point in your lives did you know that this was kind of the career path that you wanted to take? And what did you do to teach yourself how to pursue that route of becoming voice actors? Because it's uh, like, you know, for those who may inspire to want to do it, what was the path or things you needed to learn in order to get on this path? First thing I would tell you is if, the, if you want the answer for your own pursuit, it's irrelevant because the world that we bro both broke in in doesn't exist anymore. Well, that, that's why I asked okay. because it, I find the route that you all mm -hmm. took in that, that age a lot more interesting because there was a lot it's other just different. pitfalls and whatnot. No, it's, it's just no. different. It's just different because nowadays someone who's creative and living in the backwoods somewhere, they've got an internet connection, they can create something. Felicia Day has shown us such a great opportunity and Chris Hardwick and these people that have built networks on the internet that if you ask my brother or my aunts and my uncles, who some of these people are, they would shrug and not know, and these people are huge stars to a certain community. To a certain community. You know, there are Funny or Die puts out brilliant, funny stuff that's never on TV. You know, so my thing is, if I ever meet somebody who's coming up now, I say, create your own thing. I realized I wanted to be a voiceover actor, I guess, at a certain level, when I was probably five, I used to watch a show called The Copycats, and it was impressionist. So the early 70s, e even before Saturday Night Live, and it was Marilyn Michaels, Frank Gorshin, and a lot of other impressionists. No makeup, they didn't do anything like this, but they did this one sketch, Celebrity Sneezes. And, and so one that I remember was Richard Nixon. Ha, 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 true! <laughs> you know? And so I started doing it, and so I started going, all right, I'm going to do Donald Duck. <laughs> and my brothers, being big brothers, said, that was horrible. Yeah. That doesn't sound anything like Donald Duck. <laughs> and little did I know, I stumbled on how Ducky Nash did it. I don't know how I did. I couldn't understand a word you said. <laughs> and you know... So it, was, so it was basically playing around and how, do, how, do I, how did I get here? I play with my voice every day. My wife said to me a couple of weeks ago when we were having an argument, she said, you don't work on your craft. I said, honey, you know when I said to you, is that good? <laughs> I was actually working on my craft. <laughs> <laughs> when I sit there and go, well, dinner looks nice, darling. I'm working on my craft. <laughs> and you when thought I'm, it was love. <laughs> but, but, it's, but it's one of these things. And so the, I just, I grow, I grow my range every day of my life. Yeah. And that's, that's what I do. And I don't care if I'm ever seen ever again. I've done stage work. It's great. I've done some stuff on camera. It's fine. I am a nervous New York Jew. <laughs> I sit there and just go... I'm schwitzing, and they just have to... I, I'm so much more comfortable in front of a mic. And it's like, you know, I listen to your wonderful baritone voice, and I sit there and go, oh, I'd like to play him. <laughs> he's, he's pretty cool. You know, and it's like, I want to play Indians, and I want to play African Americans, and I want to play Jamaicans, and I want to play women, and I want to play aliens, and I don't want to be restricted by being too short, too fat, too thin, too tall, too ethnic, not ethnic enough, and just be as versatile as I can be. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Tootsie Kaplan. Oh, stop. <laughs> So Gary, how did this develop for you? Well, I'm gonna I gotta wrap it up because we, we the time is a wasting. But uh, first off, I gotta say that was a great question. One of the I think one of the best questions of the day. Um, how do you how do you uh, approach this career? And I what I say is small steps. You set small goals for yourself. Yes. You determine 
well, how do I get into it? And then you go and find out how you get into it. Me, I was a lot of legwork, a lot of walking around from studio to studio, from, uh, from ad agency to ad agency. Uh, whenever there was uh, things that would come up, like cartoons and stuff, I mean, I got myself an agent who could put me into these things. But again, it was small steps. And learn your craft before you go. Don't think, don't, don't just think, you know I'm a great singer, because you know what happens with, on American Idol. There are all those people on American Idol that they think they are God's gift, they are brilliant, mm -hmm. and they're absolutely horrible. So always, before you go into an audition thinking you're God's gift, just assume that you're not. <laughs> and, uh, and get your chops down, get your acting down, your acting skills first. Yes, your acting yes, skills yes. will yes. allow you, your acting skills will allow you to do any medium. It'll allow you to do theater, it'll allow you to do film, it'll allow you to do animation and commercials. And That's one of the things that Gary is and saying sing. without knowing it is that when he does a voice, he doesn't do a voice, he plays a character. Gary inhabits the entire character. You may only hear his voice, and that's what he's saying, is we don't just do voices. And that's the, that's the misperception out there in the general, general populace, people who want to pursue this. I can do a lot of voices. Well, that's nice. Can you play a character? Yeah. You know, and I'm sorry to interrupt can you. you do it, can you do Shakespeare and make it believable? believable yep. In a cartoon voice. <laughs> that's the key. Because it's not the voice. The voice is only 30%. The acting skill is the 70%. Yep. That's what you have. And now we have to wrap it up, everybody. Yeah, we are done. Oh, we are thank done. You so thank you so much. Thank you so much. What a great panel. What a great bunch. They are available for autographs after this panel. If you are interested in the area they were giving autographs earlier. Wow. Oh, okay. A pleasure, sir. Hey, that was a fun panel. Great. Thank you all. Next panel starts now. I'm, 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 not, I'm not kidding.